Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's move ahead with the seventh exercise, Corriger les fautes. You need to go through the sentences and uh, correct the mistakes. The first one, nous parlons à mes parents. We are talking to my parents. So it should be our parents, right? So, so instead of mes parents, we are supposed to write nos parents. You need to write the answer in full sentence. Nous parlons à nos parents. The second one, mon enfant sont méchants. So a lot of mistakes in this sentence. First one, we say mes enfants, my children. And then uh, the adjective méchant should be in the masculine plural form. Méchant means naughty. It's an adjective. Since mes enfants is uh, masculine plural, we need to say méchant also in the masculine plural form. So this is the second answer. If you want, you can also keep it in the singular form. But then we, uh, if we write the sentence in the singular form, we say mon enfant. We need to remove the letter S. So that translates to my child or my kid. And then instead of S-O-N-T, we need to write E-S-T. So mon enfant est méchant. My kid is naughty. The third one, they've given the word ma and then école, a grand, a clair. Since the word école is feminine singular, the adjectives grand and clair should also be in the feminine singular form. And... Um, we know that the word école, we see that it begins in a vowel, right? So we cannot say ma école because there, there is a vowel clash. There are two vowels next to each other when we say ma école. So the correct answer is mon école, a grand éclair. The fourth one, we have il met son stylo dans le trousse. A uh, lot of mistakes in this sentence also. First, one, il may. Metro verb conjugation in the il, il form should be met. Since stilo is in the plural form, it should be say stilo. So he keeps his uh, pens where dans la trousse. Since the word trousse is feminine singular, we need to say dans la trousse. The fifth one, les oiseaux volent avec ses ailes. The word vol means to fly and L is nothing but wings. Uh, so first uh, thing, the conjugation, since les oiseaux is in the plural form, vol should also be conjugated in the ILS or ELLES form. So the answer is vol, V-O-L-E-L-T. So the words fly, we don't say with its wings, right? We need to say with their wings because the birds is plural so they fly with their wings so the answer should be avec leur zèle they fly with their wings since l is in the plural form the possessive adjective leur is also in the plural form let's move ahead with the eighth exercise entourer la bonne réponse encircle the correct answer the first one, elle habite avec dash oncle. So the right answer is son oncle. Uncle is masculine singular in French. So uh, it should be son oncle. She lives with her uncle. The second one, je vais au cinéma avec mes amis. Since ami is in the plural form, me is the most suitable answer. The third one, nous mettons dash livre dans le placard. Since livre is in the plural form, no is the suitable answer. The fourth one, tu parles à tes enfants. Again, enfant is in the plural form. So tes enfants, do you speak to your children? The fifth one, sa maison est belle. His house or her house is beautiful. We write sa maison because maison is feminine singular in French. The sixth one, ils prennent leur petit déjeuner. Petit déjeuner is singular. 
so the answer should be learn so they take their breakfast where dans la salle à manger in the uh, dining hall the seventh one vous allez au cinéma avec votre sœur since the word sir is um, singular we uh, need to choose votre as the answer the eighth one j'aime jouer avec ma sœur sœur is feminine singular it means sister right so the answer is ma sœur let's move ahead with the ninth exercise choisissez le verbe approprié et conjuguez le choose the appropriate verb they have given two verbs within the brackets we need to choose the most uh, suitable answer and we also need to conjugate it because within the brackets they have given all the verbs in the infinitive form so the first one l dash these on she dash 10 years old in english we say she is 10 years old but we've already learned that in french we need to say she has uh, 10 years while talking about um, the age in french we use the verb avoir so the answer is elle a 10 ans the second one no dash la télé we are watching the television so the answer should be regardons la télé nous regardons la télé the third one il dash bon nuit à ses parents so we we can say he says good night to his parents so we can choose the verb dir and conjugate it in the il form as d i t the fourth one il dash du gâteau au chocolat um so we need to choose the answer manger for this that is because the verb aime is not followed by a partitive article we've already learned that verbs like aime adore prefere and deteste these four verbs are directly not followed by the partitive articles so the answer should be il mange the fifth one l dash sa mère she calls her mother right so we can uh, choose the verb appeler and in the l form it is conjugated as app e double l e l a p e l sa mère she she's calling her mother thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe to my channel the french station to get notified on the upcoming videos like it and share it with your friends as well until then a bientôt see you soon